I'm gonna ruin something now. Oh, 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 nope. It worked. Oh, inside here. I talked a little bit about the amount of spare pieces that we had for the lighthouse. Hi, I'm the Brake Pie, and today we're gonna go for Astronomer Round 2. So grab a drink if you're liking, take a seat by the fire, and enjoy. This is how could it other be? A Blue Rig special set the Astronomer's Planetarium. Let's get to the facts about this because we do have a lot to talk about once again. Set ID is 107284. We've got 7,284 pieces for a list price of 250 euro. This thing weighs 5046 gram with these bridges included we'll talk about them a little bit later in addition to that there are a few spare pieces but we'll also cover these a little bit later just to finish with that um, we are at 3.44 cent per piece and 4.95 cent Per gram. If we include the spare pieces, we'd be down to 4.61 cent per gram. But again, that is a different story. I think that's it about the facts. The box, typical special, none. Um, we've got a trusty sticker. But yeah. Um, that's it. Again, that box is packed. And also, again, the one thing it does not come with is a printed instruction. We are at a typical Blue Bricks special set with no printed instruction. This time, also, no sticker sheet. So, thank you, Blue Bricks. We do have a PDF or this time it's five PDFs because they accumulate to two gigabytes. Those five PDFs accumulate to 10 building step segments and those add up to a little bit less than 2000 building steps. So we are at three point something uh, pieces per building step, somewhere around that. And again, this is a set for adults. So do not attempt to let your six-year-old build that. Nobody's going to have fun doing that. We talked about the content of the set. And if you've watched the last video, you might remember that I talked a little bit about the amount of spare pieces that we had for the lighthouse. I don't know if I've accidentally got sent like three sets instead of one, but for the lighthouse we had, what was it, I think like around, around 180 gram of spare pieces. This is, how much is it? 380 gram. Like, look at all that. That's not small pieces. This entire box is just filled with spare chains. And some didn't even make it in. <laughs> Again, the tool rackets. More chains. <laughs> More chains. Railing. This windows, more railings, barrels. So either like 
I missed a PDF and it's supposed to be six and not five and, and I missed to build something or what happened here? I mean, I'm not complaining, quite the contrary. But it's, it's kind of weird to get that much stuff extra. Well, fine. I'll take it. So that's why I meant it's so much we have to take it into account when weighing the set. Um, within the 5,046 pieces, the bridges are included, but not that. That's 380 gram extra, which makes 0.3 cents per gram as a difference. I mean, it does not sound like a lot, like 0.3 gram, uh, 0.3 cent, but for five kilo, 0.3 cent per gram is a bit. So, yes, but <laughs> towards the real deal, where do I even start? Let's start with like a 360 degree room tour before I dismantle it all. This thing is a beauty. Oh, wait. Um, I've actually ruined the beauty again before because... I mean, you know the drill. Yes. Let's start with this roof. And this. I like that this is not like the typical just throw it out there roof construction, but this ring is nice. Um, and we do see that more. Now. <laughs> About the part with the ring. I'm gonna ruin something now. Oh, 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 nope. It worked. No oh, trap. Yeah, so much for that. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, I ruined that. But that's fine. to get a more detailed look, maybe without reflections. I still love these birds. They're also everywhere in the lighthouse. And they are just so simple, but look very cool. It's still amazing. It's like six pieces, that's it. But they fit in here so well. Love it. But <laughs> sorry for the distraction. Well, let's have a look inside. And now we already know why this thing's called the planetar planetarium, um, because we do have all of this. And this is where that piece would have come in handy if I would not have had destroyed it. Because if I turn that, Everything inside here turns as well. Yeah, it worked better with, <laughs> with this piece still intact. But yeah, you, you get the idea. 
Um, it's just me who ruins stuff now. <laughs> This set of rings is also put into the floor around here. Um, makes this thing very sturdy once again. So, um, I don't want to try it out, but I'm almost certain I could lift it like here. So, yeah, I'm not going to try that out. I'm going to ruin even more stuff. But yeah, so that is the upper floor, the planetarium. <laughs> no. Yes, this. Because on this one, we've got even more modular stuff than on the lighthouse. There's so much more that we can take out and take off. So this room. Like the, the study slash bedroom or whatever. It looks really cool. <laughs> now what's next? Um, right, the room below that, the, what is it, crypt? <laughs> Two minifig guards guarding a sarcophagus. Something like that. Also, very nice. And now we can take you off. Can I take you off? No, I don't think I can take off this one anymore. But I can take out this. Um, there's not much to see here. That's basically just the ring where the planetarium is built on top. I need more space. And I think that's about it. The rest is not modular anymore. Or I'm missing something, so if I missed something, let me know. But yes, um, I don't know how I'm going to do that now, but oh yeah, uh, one thing, this roof is the one thing that always, uh, that always falls off. And I can tell you why that is the case, because of... It only sits on these two studs, and that's the one thing that I don't really get. Like, we've got like a, what is it, 1 by 10 plate on there. Why not make this like a 1 by 10 plate as well? Or at least like 4, four studs instead of 2. Because that thing always falls off when you dismantle this one. But that is grabbing straws to look for something I can whine about. Now to the real good part. <laughs> where things will probably fall. Um. I can't point to that anymore. <laughs> if I move my hand, I'm going to drop the entire thing. But the treasure chamber down, down front is amazing. Um, in the middle, the chamber 
um, down here in, in the tower. The bridge in here with everything. We've got the doors. <gasps> um, the other side of the bridge. The anchor and, and all the details. Uh, once again, I'd probably sit here for an hour or two showing you all the details, so I won't even try. To be honest, please, please don't hate me for that. But it's just impossible. There is so much stuff hidden in that set. There's just no way you're ever going to catch all of that while just holding that thing into a camera. It's, it's impossible. Um, this set is the sister set to the Astronomer's Lighthouse. They do not directly connect to each other. Um, on the planetarium, you build these two nice tiny ridges. This and this. Nothing in either instruction tells you where you could or should connect these sets. It is entirely up to you. There are a few positions that would probably fit the best. One of them is around here where you can like take off this and add like this bridge and then put the other one on the astronomer lighthouse down there on the on the lower railing. Um, it does work. I've, I've tried it out, but it's not really that stable. So unless you really put these on like jumper plates onto a larger construction where it's really fixed in place, I wouldn't really do that. And the same is for this one. I think I fit it over it. No, it can't be for the other stuff. Maybe I've put it on top of here somewhere. I don't remember. Um but it didn't did not work that well especially for this one. But it it does work, but it's not amazingly stable because there is no designated spot for you to build these bridges into. It's only so you've got the opportunity to connect these two sets, but they do not strictly have to be connected. It's not like Blaustein Castle extensions where you modify an existing set or extend an existing set. You can buy and build and display each of these sets on its own. No connection. And there are already two more sets announced, so I'm really interested where this journey goes because I've said it about the lighthouse, that the lighthouse for me is the best set up to 2024 that I've ever laid eyes or hands on. And this thing just jumps that bar as if it's nothing. This for me is by far the best brick set that I know of that's on the market in the story. There's no but in it. That's it. Could have set that right after the introduction and ended the video with like a minute and 20 in it. That's it. This is the best. We do have features in it. The quality of everything in here is amazing. Um, starting with the part quality. I think there, there are even some pieces that are go bricks. Most of it is blue brick special pieces, like in the Astronomer's Lighthouse. But I think like a handful of, of packages were the go bricks packages. 
Um, these are typically the ones with the white bar or bar in, in the center. Whilst most of them were still the normal transparent um, Blue Brick Special packs. But it's interesting that they are starting to move more and more into Go Bricks pieces. Um, I like that. Go Bricks are the best pieces on the market that I know of. So it's great. Um, it, it can only up their quality even further. So, I like that. Where was I? So yeah, everything in this set is amazing. The small details, the bigger picture. It looks great. It is modular. It even has functions in it. Albeit just the planetarium thing. Um, you could argue about the, the looks of, of that wheel that I destroyed. Um, maybe it's supposed to be like to, to catch wind and, and turn by that. I, I don't like as, as a model. Um, I don't know that that is the only thing that looks a bit weird for me, a little bit out of place. But again, that is literally grabbing straws to find something that I'm not really perfect with, or that at least at some point hit my eye. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's great to see that display sets exist on the market that do not cost a fortune. I mean, sure, 250 euro is a lot of money, no doubt about it, but the amount of stuff that you get for it is really worth it. And I don't think there are any other sets or any other brands out there at the moment that compare to that. At least not on that quality level. Got to add that as well. There are the brands that can match the pricing, but by far not on that quality. So when it comes to price and quality ratio for large buildings, blue bricks at the moment is the way to go. They are taken off like a rocket ship. And it's really great to see Lego getting competition on their on that market that hopefully pushes them to new worlds again. When it comes to the um, pieces, one thing to add when you're building that your fingertips will suffer. This set contains I don't know how many of those hinge plates. The entire round part of this gets the roundness by hinge plates. These these two by one hinge plates. And the strength that is necessary to connect these is quite a bit. So and you're easily going to do like 20 pairs of that in like one building step or like within very few building steps. So your fingertips will suffer. That is the one lasting impression that I've got from this that like the week after I wouldn't even attempt to touch bricks in any kind of way because my fingertips had to rest. Can't wait to see where Blue Bricks goes with the Astronomer series. It is one hell of a journey already and we are just at two sets. So I'm hyped already. So yeah, I think that is 
everything that has to be said about this set. So the only thing left for me to say is bye.